Hey, my name is Chris Dodd. I'm a lieutenant with the Lake Villa Fire Protection District. Um, we're here today doing a final inspection of our new tower that we just bought that's behind us. Um, we also purchased a pumper as well, um, but today we're going to go over the new tower that we got. Um, it's essentially a 100-foot platform, uh, mid-mount, has a 2,000 GPM pump. We're going to be changing our running order. Um, this thing is going to be going on you know, crashes with entrapment, um, and then fires. We have a, a few mid-rises in our district, um, mostly populated by the elderly community. Uh, before this ladder, the one that it's going to be replacing is a 107 foot stick. Um, and as we all know, it's easier to get somebody out of a uh, building that's you know six stories high with a platform than it is down a stick. So uh, that's what kind of sold us on it. Um, so we're, we'll go through it. But like I said, the last one was a stick, so this is kind of new to, to all of us at the department. See here, we went with a nice red ladder with a white basket. Um, this one does have a pump on it, and it, it does consist of two cross lays um, that are pre-piped. So we'll put 200 feet on there, inch and three quarter. Uh, the mid-mount has controls at the pedestal, if you will, and then there's also controls in the basket. Right here is going to be a two and a half gallon water extinguisher. Uh, just frees up more cabinet space if we can put it right here instead of any other cabinets or in the compartment where it may fly around if there's an issue. Um, down here, these are just emergency controls. Um, in here is going to be um, basically our engineer's compartment. Um, also, something that we do that's a little different than others is we put these wooden slats in here, which allows us to mount all of our equipment wherever we would like instead of just having it fixed, you know, forever. If we if we get a new uh, fitting, we can we can move it, and it's no problem. Uh, we went with oversized compartments for SCBA bottles, along with some other extinguishers. Um, again, freeing up cabinet space um, so we could put more extrication stuff on there and so on. Uh, this is typically a TRT area. Um, we have rope bags for um, elevated rescues and such. Um, we have a bridle so we can use a Stokes basket to take somebody off of a roof if need be. Um, so there's just a lot of TRT things that go in here. Um, up top, the red boxes, you can see that we have, those are saw boxes. Um, and then in front of it is a hose box. And I'll show you what that would be used for over here. Um, so here's the platform. So it has two doors, a uh, single master stream in the back. And then this port right here, you can, it, it would be for like an elevated standpipe. So if something's wrong with the standpipe inside of a building, like a mid-rise or something like that, we can hook up two and a half inch or three inch and then lead out with a horseshoe. And uh, it's all right there. So we would totally take it, the building standpipe out of the picture and use the rig for that. Um, in the back, we usually carry, you know, like a hydrant bag, um, some five inch. This is another saw box, so we can put a chainsaw in there. And then again, on this side, we have SCBA bottles and then an extinguisher. We have a tray here. Um, we put, we're gonna put five inch in there, just so it's flat loaded and ready to go if we need it. So we went with the uh, 2000 GPM pump. Um, cabs are pretty big. All of our stuff that's going to be used for like extrication is uh, battery and that's going to have banks of battery in it. Um, so every one of those shelves has an outlet and then we can also put medical supplies in there as well. Uh, four person seating, three of the seats have packs, pack mounts in them. So then moving to this cab, uh, so this is obviously the office where the officer sits. We have Q-Siren on the floor, um, standard ropes for the, for the air horn. This has a total of six outriggers and then two downriggers. This Q-Siren also makes it so that when you have to tilt the cab, pull up on this pin, move this out of the way, 
And that's our new tower. I think they did a fantastic job, and I'd like to thank everybody for watching.